In this Moscow school, Stepan stands out. Like the other students, he's learning English, but unlike the others, he is a robot. Controlling it, the real Stefan, a young boy suffering from leukemia. Since contracting the disease two years ago, he's been unable to leave the house and takes part in classes through the eyes of a robot. I can change the speed, go slowly or quickly. I can move the head to look to the left or right. So I feel like I'm really in the classroom. The machine's equipped with a webcam, a microphone and speakers, so Stefan can even make his own voice heard. English is spoken in Africa. For his mother, the most important thing is maintaining a link with the outside world. The children in the classroom have fun. They mess around and communicate. This way, Stepan can join in. He misses out on the normal life of a little boy. As for Stepan the robot, it's one of the first of its kind, and the Russian firm which built it hopes to take the concept further. Firstly, we hope to develop it in the social sector, in other words, in education, health, and for working with handicapped people. There are many disabled people in our country, and they need help. At 3,000 US dollars, the robot doesn't come cheap, especially for people receiving meagre disability benefits. And without state funding, it's not certain that the concept is commercially viable. For Stepan, though, it is a vital tool. But despite the technical wizardry of his robotic partner, there's no substitute for the real thing. He's still hoping to be back in class as soon as he's well enough.